Hi everyone. Welcome to question and answer session. A 25 years old man has an inguinal hernia. Which of the following structure must be divided to gain access the inguinal canal? So now we have to find out from the question that to uh, enter into the inguinal canal which structure should be divided. Here are the options. The options are transversal fascia, external oblique aponeurosis, conjoint tendon, rectus abdominis and inferior epigastric artery. So we have to find out one of the options uh, which uh, the structure should be cut to gain access uh, to enter the inguinal canal. So here we can see this is the inguinal canal and this inguinal canal it starts from here here is it is superficial ring or super here is the superficial inguinal ring here and deep inguinal ring it is here so from the outside to inside if we want to enter the inguinal canal we have to cut this structure and in this picture we can see this structure is derived from there from this muscle and this is the external oblique muscle which is one of the abdominal muscle so for entering the inguinal canal we have to cut the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle in this picture we uh, can see the another figure and here we can see this is the superficial inguinal ring and here it is the deep inguinal ring and from the superficial inguinal ring to the deep inguinal ring this is the inguinal canal and so when content passes or hernial content passes to from this deep inguinal ring through the inguinal canal and finally in the superficial inguinal ring then it is called the inguinal inguinal hernia and we can see here if we want to uh, reach this structure uh, this inguinal canal we have to uh, cut this structure and which is the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle so our final answer is the external oblique muscle so this external oblique muscle must have to cut to gain access to the inguinal canal thank you all